Hey, it's Dusty Showers from Creepy Creatures, and here at Creepy Creatures, most of the business that we do are rats. Rats are everywhere all over the Tampa Bay area, and they're really the only way to take care of them is to find every opening, set traps out, stay away from poison. If you use poison, you're gonna end up with dead rats inside. If somebody tells you that the poison they use makes them thirsty and they go outside for water and die, don't listen to them. That's an old wives' tale. And when somebody tells you that, they're either a lazy pest control guy or they just don't know any better. Either way, it's not somebody that you should hire unless you're okay having dead rats up in your attic or in the walls. The good side of that is it's a lot cheaper to put out the poison. But if you do end up with dead ones, a lot of times you end up paying more money because then you've got to hire someone to come out and find them. So you got to find all the openings, then you got to set out snap traps. Put snap traps in just the right place and you're gonna have success. And then the key thing is everything needs to be sealed up. This is a great example where uh, at this house I'm at right now, and you gotta be up on a ladder. This is nothing. Sometimes you wear up two, three stories on a ladder. Uh, but in this particular case, the obvious opening was the AC line uh, where they were coming in. However, after a close inspection, you can look at this and actually all of this is okay. There's nothing wrong with this, that's tight. But then you can see right up here, that's where the opening is. And it's actually a perfect opening for rats to get in. So we're gonna do a combination of two things. We're gonna set traps, we're gonna check on those traps every two to three days, and then we're gonna get all the openings sealed up and then guarantee it for a year that they're not gonna have any issues whatsoever. So if you've got rat problems, if you're hearing noises in the attic, uh, the biggest thing is when somebody says they're hearing noises in the attic or ceiling, we ask, is it during the day or night? If it's nighttime, it's almost always going to be rats. If it's during the day or early morning, it's very likely it could be squirrels. So thanks for watching. Check out creepycreatures.net. And always be kind to possums and pit bulls. Sit, possum. Sit. Good possum.